Well, in a year, Barrett is going to be snatched up by another police department. If we don't go ahead and recognize and promote him for the things and services that he's already done in this community. John has been my family here. And I'm very comfortable and pleased with the work that he's done. Um, since I've been sick, he's been kind enough to take my kids to things that they need to go to after school. When I hadn't felt well, he's, he's picked them up and, and, and taken them there. And, and it, it, his loyalty to me is unquestionable. Um, you know, I don't have to speak about his heroic actions in the community. I mean, he was just named Officer of the Year. And one thing that makes Officer Barrow unique is his, his braveness. And you know, he, he's got that, that certain kind of braveness to where you know, he, he can just stand on his own belief, even when his own race goes against some of their beliefs. And frankly, that takes a lot of courage, and I don't see that in a lot of officers. And that's the purpose of this meeting. I think right now is a perfect time. The timing is just right to promote him to assistant chief. What do you think? Great chief Harlan. I think the timing is significant. And perhaps this is a wise decision. Yeah, Chief Bob. Can I help you? Chief Potter, the local news is here requesting a quick interview with you and Officer John Barrow. She says you instructed her to come by early this morning. Yes, that is correct. I did. With all the, the th all the things that's been going on in the precinct and the department, I totally forgot about it and didn't put it down on my itinerary. But you know, I've got John here right now. I've got the mayor. I've got the sheriff and myself. You know, why don't we go ahead and get this interview done right now? Really, the time it couldn't be better. Why don't you just send us the middle why don't you sit there and write down this is going to be over with? Yes, sir, I will. Thank you. John, John's, John's a good cop. That's one of the best we've done in the force. And I, I guarantee you, he'll make a great assistant chief. Yeah, it's it's all a decision. You better keep your eyes open. I know he screwed up, but can't you just give him a verbal warning instead of sending him to diversity training? You know how much money that's going to cost the police force? Chief, he's been warned more than once. I mean, he could have killed someone. I, I, I understand. I, I understand. But something like this could really set a, him back, his career back as a cop. Chief, Robbie Travis was malicious. He abused his power. He could have killed someone. John, John, you act like you've never been on the streets. <laughs> I've never sicked a police dog on a person who was handcuffed. Okay, John, that, that's your decision. That's your decision, but, but I, I don't, I don't agree with it. I, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. See, don't do this. What? Don't do this. See, I've never done anything to betray your trust. I mean, look, we've always been here. So I was, I, 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 I have no idea. I, I don't know what you're talking about. See, don't do this. You can't go. Why? Chief, why are you doing this? I will not 
end my career like this. I'm sorry. See, you always told me that if I did what was right, that you had my back. You even said that if I attempted to do what's right and I failed, that you would have my back. But you never said that it would be you who would be stabbing me in my back. No, I, I, I would not in my career like this. I, I'm only good. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Um, I've had many positions with the police department. I uh, was just recently uh, chief of police. And you are no longer employed by the police department. That is correct. Where are you currently employed, Mr. Bob? Uh, security, a security guard. Please speak up. I work as a security guard. I see. During your time as chief of police, you oversaw both Charles Oxford and John Barrett. Is that right? Yeah, that, that's correct. And at any time, did you ever issue disciplinary charges against either of these men? Not before the, not before the hit and run incident. And yet, suddenly, you did charge my client, Charles Oxford, with insubordination and demote him for publicly disagreeing with your handling of that case. Isn't that correct? Yes. Yes, I did. That's the, the, the company policy, the guidelines, uh, to not discuss cases like this with the public. I see. Well, let's discuss it now, Mr. Bob, since it is in the past. I'm going to ask you a question. And I remind you, you are under oath. Any statement that you give that is proven to be a deliberate falsehood would be perjury. A felony. Do you understand? Well, of course, I understand. Good, good. spoke to John Barrett that night? Yes, uh, I spoke to him. I said. <laughs> Father, would you say at any time that Assistant Chief John Barrow broke any policies? No, 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 he, no, he didn't. He, 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 he followed protocol on call from this. with John Barrow's call that night. Did you tell him you'd back his decision? Mr. Paul, yeah. answer the question. Yes, I, yes, I did. I'll talk about you. Just, you know, I care about you. And, um, you know, just out of curiosity, what's been the hardest part for you so far? Because in your new role, because I want to, as your friend, I truly want to help you transition into your new role and make it as smooth as possible for you. Okay. Well, I knew it was going to be a different, different type of challenge. You know, I expected that. I just thought that there would be more, more respect. Yes. Yep. yep. Yes. Yep. Uh, you know what, John? I remember thinking the same exact thing. I was whining to my wife one night when I became chief, and you know what she told me? What? She said. She said. There will always be people that will never respect you, no matter what you do. And then there will be people that will always respect you, no matter what you do. And then there will be the third kind of people. And that third kind of person 
will respect you, John, only when you earn it. 